in this lecture and in next few lectures we are going to learn how we can update the array field of a document and along the way we are also going to talk about some operators which can help us updating an array field so let's go to mongo shell currently we are in the e-shopping database here let me go ahead and let me query the employees collection and from the employees collection i want to find all those documents i want to query all those documents where the skill name is developer if i run this command you see it is returning us four documents so in all these four documents if we go to the skills array each skill array has two elements and these two elements are basically skill documents so you will see we have one developer skill here we have this developer skill for the second document also we have a developer skill for the third document and also for the fourth document now here let's say i want to filter all those documents where the skill name is developer and the level for that skill is greater than six so let me write that command here so in the filter condition we are going to use first the end operator because we want to check for multiple conditions in the first condition i want to check where the skill name is developer so i'll specify that here so this is our first condition in the second condition we will check skill dot level it should be greater than six so for that to the skill level i'm going to assign another object there we are going to use the greater than operator so this gt operator and there i'll specify that the skill level the skill level for this skill developer it should be greater than six let's copy this command let's paste it here and let's press enter and now you will see that still we are getting four documents in the result so for the first document where the skill is developer its level is seven so this document is okay for the second document where the skill is developer the level is eight so this should also be filtered but if you see the third document the name is developer here but the level of that skill is six it is not greater than six and same is true for fourth document also there also we have this developer skill but its level is six it is not greater than six then why does these two documents have been filtered here that's because when we are filtering it like this mongodb is going to check if in this skills array we have any document where the skill name is developer so in all these four documents we have a skill document where the skill name is developer and it is also going to check skills dot level should be greater than six now for the first two documents the skills level is greater than six but for the third document in the skills array for this developer skill the level is not greater than six but for another element of this skills array there the level is greater than six and same is true for this document also so here when we are saying that skill dot name should be developer and skill dot level should be greater than six we are not telling mongodb in any way here that it should be checking for this name and level in the same skill document okay and that's why if any other skill document also has this level greater than six it is being filtered here now how can we get only those documents where the skill name is developer and for that same developer skill the level is greater than six for that we can use element match operator so again let me write the query here so let's say db dot employees dot find and in here we are going to pass a filter object here we want to filter based on skills array and now we want to find that skill document which matches and when we want to match a document we can use dollar lm match so basically when we want to match an element of an array we can use lm match operator and to this we are going to assign the structure of the document which it should match so in that document we should have name as developer and we should have level greater than six so here i'm going to use dollar gt operator okay so using this lm match operator we are specifying that it should find that 
element from the skills array which matches this structure which matches this object where we have a name property assigned with the developer and where the level is greater than six so if i copy this command now let's move it to separate lines to make it more readable okay so for the element match also let's move it to separate line All right let me copy this let's paste it here and if i press enter now you will see that it is returning only two documents the documents where the name is developer and the level for that skill is greater than six so now it is returning us the correct documents so this is how we can find the matching documents okay so now we have a condition to check how we can filter the documents from the employees collection where the name is developer and for that skill the level is greater than six now here what i want is for all these filtered documents where the name is developer and level is greater than six there i also want to add a new field okay i want to add a new field and i want to add that field only for that particular element of this skills array where the name is developer and level is seven now if i go ahead and if i write update many method here first of all we will have to pass a filter condition so for the filter condition i am going to copy this let's paste it here and then we need to specify the document with which we want to update it so here we are going to use dollar set operator in here what do we want to update we want to update the skills array and to this we can specify the array with which we want to update it now here i don't want to override the existing array if we update it in this way what it will do is whatever value we will specify here in this array it will override the complete array so whatever elements we will specify in this array this array will override the current array that i don't want what i want is in this array i want to search for that element which matches this filter criteria and i want to update only that element i don't want to override the entire array so we cannot write it like this now what we can do we can use dollar operator here so to use dollar operator first we are going to wrap it within quotes like this and on that we can say dot dollar now what this dollar operator does we have learned about it basically this dollar operator it is going to get the first matching document from the array in the skills array the first matching document which will match this filter criteria is this so it is going to take this element basically this element and we can update it element so it is going to return us this element and we can update it in the same way for the second document also the first matching element for this filter criteria is this element so this dollar operator will return us that element and we can update it so how do you want to update it if you want to override this complete object you can simply specify an object here with which you want to override it there you can specify your own values for example let's say name is dev level is maybe six and some other fields if you want for example experience maybe three years so this object will override the first matching object with this filter criteria in the skills array and the first matching object will be this object in the second document and this object in the first document so these two objects these two elements of this skills array will be overridden by this object but i don't want that what i want is i simply want to add a new field to these elements of this skills array and if i want to add a new field only then on this dollar i can specify the field name for example i want to add experience and then i can specify the value for that so maybe i'll say true okay or let's say the field name is expert and i want to assign it to true so what it will do is this this here it is going to add a new field in 
this element of this skills array and this elements of this skills array for the second document. There it is going to add a new expert field assigned with the value true. Let me actually show you that. So if I copy this and let me clear the shell, let's paste the command and let's press enter. So you will see matched count is 2, modified count is 2. If we go ahead and if we query the employees collection where the skill name is developer, you will see that now for those skills where the name is developer and the level is greater than 6, this expert has been added. So here it has been added and here it has been added. For other documents where the name is developer but the skill is 6 or less than 6, there that property has not been added. So in this way using this dollar operator you can select the first matching element from an array field and you can simply update it. Here we have updated the document by simply adding a new field but you can also update the existing field values. Alright so in this lecture we learned how we can select the first matching element from an array field and update it. In the next lecture, let's learn how we can select all the elements of an array field and update it. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.